It is a somewhat sunny, cold, brisk day in the winter in Delta, British Columbia, Canada today. Yep, it sure is. So, what I've done off camera is I have carved eagle heads in the rocker chairs. I said to just carve Rob yesterday, hey, just carve Rob, should I carve eagle head in the rocker chairs? He goes, sure, why not? So I did, carved them quick, there it is. Abracadabra, and I painted that part, and I'm just waiting for the paint to dry. I got my heater going on in the shop. I somewhat gold leafed the uh, sun in the raven's mouth. Now, I'm struggling with what to carve on those points of the chair. So just carve Rob gave me the idea. Hey, Jordy, why don't you get those epoxy skulls that you did and put them on the chair? It would be black, of course. I said, yeah, that's a cool idea. But for me, skulls are kind of a thing of the 90s. And um, I don't know. I don't really want skulls. On a chair, yeah, they would be cool, like a Vikings chair, but I don't think this chair, because we've gone on the um, uh, native kind of route. This is basically, long story short, this is a Geordie chair. That's what it's going to, it's just a Geordie chair, whatever I want to do. So then I did this epoxy pour. I just bought the molds of this owl. So I said, hey, maybe an owl, owls, like one up here. Let me turn this back light off. Man, those eagle heads are cool. Yeah. But anyways, so then I said, maybe I'll do the owls up there. Pour them black and then put them, the owls up here. But then, because I didn't carve this owl. This is just, a, I bought the mold for like five bucks and poured it. The epoxy. So, but yeah, I can have it here when I'm doing the owl carvings to give me some ideas make it more rounder right but this isn't my art so they would look cool up there I could carve little owls up there but owls don't really go along with the story so and it's the easy way out I also talked to Larry Dibbs about it so then I said to just carve Rob I said Rob maybe I should carve this was before the eagle, the, the owls, or the skull idea. Maybe I should carve uh, eagle talons up there holding a ball. He said, yeah, that would be killer. But I says, man, that's lots of Dremel carving, and I don't feel like doing. Oh, you guys guess. Nobody's guessed what's on the back yet. You can re-guess if you want. I don't care. Um, you got to read the story. Anyways, I'm getting carried away. <laughs> Excuse me. So should I carve eagle talons up here holding a ball? The thing I was saying, that's a lot of Dremel carving. I don't like too much I don't like doing too much Dremel carving when I'm here at the tent. Because while it's slow, it's dusty and it's just a lot of work. But I guess, so then I asked Larry Dibbs, while we workshop, what I should do on the top poles. He says, oh, you know what he said to me? He goes, why don't you carve eagle talons? I'm like, fuck, shit. Carve eagle talons. I'm like, I, God damn, I don't want to do that. But I think there's, when Larry said it to me, I think, um, I think there's no other choice. Really? <sighs> Do I even want to carve wood spirits on? Evo Rick made a good uh, point on the last video. When I put this together, I got to raise this back a bit. So when I put my cushion down here, this chair came with custom cushions. Cushions, I'll show you when the video is done. But I got to raise it up a bit because when I put the cushion on the seat, when I'm sitting out there in the summertime, you want to be able to see the cabin. Thanks, Evil Rick. So do I even want to put wood spirits on here? Well, 
because it kind of wood spirits kind of take a part away from the story. But uh, old old subscriber uh, Gus, he sent me an axe he carved, a Viking axe. He says the uh, Odin from the Vikings had the raven. So there you go, like Viking chair, native carving fusion. Fusion is like infuse all the stuff together. So maybe I'll like uh, look up some characters on the thing thing and carve them. So like maybe this, maybe I'll carve a couple Odin's here. Odin, Odin's here. And also abalone shell. So stand by. So I got these abalones from my buddy Stuart. This, these come from a real old store in on, uh, Vancouver Island, but I got a bunch of these and they're all the perfect shape so I can carve these and I could use these for eyes for the wood spirits or whatever. Look at these little stars that I got. I got these online. Can you guys see them? They're little abalone stars. So the, the, the possibilities are endless. You just got to open up your mind. Like I, I thought about this, um, these poles here. Is maybe I should just cut it like this. Bam, bam, and carve a wizard in each side. So I don't even have to worry about this because there is screw holes up in here from where you had the doorknobs on there before. So I'm just like you guys. The struggle is real. The struggle is real. What do I do? What do I do? Honest, don't worry about that uh, sun and the raven. I just did the, uh, I still got to buffer all the stuff away here. I think the best thing is not to carve it today. And I'd love to re read what you guys say I should carve on these posts. Would it be okay to carve two wizards? Like make this a wizard cap? Let's see here. Let me find a pen. Stand by. I'll go like F. There's his hat. There's a nose down here. So, hat, nose, mustache, or do I carve the talons? They could be dragon talons. I'm just going to call them whatever talons. So, I think we're just going to leave this one here. See what you guys say I should carve on those posts. I don't even need to carve the posts. But they need to be carved. And down here needs to be carved too. It's my chair. It's going in my yard. It's a Geordie chair. I can carve whatever I want on there. It's not, doesn't have to all be native. It can be Japanese. It could be Viking. It could be friggin' Chinese. It could be Korean. It could be friggin' Irish. It could be anything. Possibilities are endless. And I'm going to upload this video. Happy Sunday, everybody. And I'm going to read all the comments. And I'm going to give this a good few days before I carve those top posts. Please leave a comment what you think I should do. Oh, yeah. Also, I got abalone shell in the raven eye. I didn't show that. I didn't show doing that. But I just did it quickly. It's not the best setting, but. It's there. Stand by. One more thing before I go. I don't have my microphone hooked up. I got those rubber things on the bottom. So I got the screws in set there. I heated it up and I bent it. So that's so this uh, cedar will last a lot longer for when the when I'm enjoying my rocking out my front yard. Anyways. Sorry, I got the lights out in the tent. I'm just leaving, but one more thought came to my mind too. I'm just carved. Rob suggested that I carve like round trees up here and have the roots coming down 
and then the wood spirits in the roots. You know, I think 100% the talons would look the coolest, but I don't want to stand here and carve them because I got to I got to stand here. Well, anyways, I don't want to stand here and carve them. So maybe some green with a little bit of the way I do it. I paint it green, then I burn it, and then I make it look rustic. A round green tree up here with the roots coming down, and then Odin from underneath the roots. How about that? You know, I even said to myself, I said, well, these rails, why don't I get some thicker boards, put some thicker boards on these rails, these hand hand things and uh put them in there but i don't want to spend too, that much more time i've already spent a lot of time well not that much who cares as long as you're having fun shouldn't nothing else should matter i think trees is i think trees would go along with the native thing too you get the green tree up here burn it through the carving fusion thing like the round tree i don't know what i don't know what trees are round but um round up here Roots coming down, Odin or a wood spirit underneath the roots. I just please let me know you guys' ideas. Oh, I also cleaned up this uh, gold leaf stuff. You see how it didn't take that well there? It's black underneath there. I don't care. I'm just leaving it. Makes it look more rustic. Ideas, ideas, ideas.